how's it going everyone? Today I'm gonna be awakening the man himself, Madara Uchiha, the first 7 star Blazing Bash unit to a 7 star. I've been looking forward to this ever since he was announced last week over on JP and I'm looking forward to it. So I showed off pretty much everything about him last week but I'm gonna go ahead and actually use him today and on top of that as well I'm just kind of looking forward to the fact that I'm gonna finally have a 7 star Blazing Bash unit and this Madara, he's, he's amazing man. I, I love him, I love him so much, I think he's so cool as the unit itself because back in the day man like he was pretty good with Hashirama as well and even though I've been playing Blazing for quite a while there's no secret I didn't really summon on too many Blazing Bash banners back in the day um, I still really don't to be honest so I only have two dupes for this man which means he's not gonna be fast um, I'm probably not even gonna use him that much to be honest I don't know but I, I still want to awaken him I might as well so I do have enough to awaken him because I never got stage of six past Naruto but even if I did have him uh, the game's given you enough chances to get the stuff that you need for it if you don't know how to still um if you didn't see last week's video or if you forgot i can go ahead and touch on that in a second uh but for right now i'm gonna go ahead and awaken him so you can see exactly what it is that you need and yes sir i'm looking forward to it so you do have to get him to a six star blazing awakened version i also want to see how much ramen this man takes because i've been seeing a lot of people walking around with this man without him having max level so i wonder why that is um okay so there we go I, he does get the immobilization resistance as well i do have the tag the scroll and the other scroll as well so here we go this is my first seven star blazing bash awakening along with everybody's out honestly so i love the animation by the way i, I think they did such a solid job with that <laughs> oh it looks so beautiful man yes sir and i love this moderate's artwork he is very blazing festival reminiscent because of the kind of the the paint style they use on it so there we go that is madara uchiha right there my boy is not having any pills but that's because i never really gave him any so we're gonna go ahead and see how many or how much ramen this man will consume to get to max level now it normally takes four ramen to get a unit from level 1 to level 100 and then from there going to 150 it does take more so obviously this isn't going to be the case with this unit if you give him four he only goes to 80 which is not good enough so we're going to go ahead and use 10 and we'll see how much this takes now if i remember correctly when i used it on kakashi i had to use quite a bit of ramen so that's 10 ramen right there we'll go ahead and feed this into this man and i don't know if it's going to be different for every seven star like say kakashi naruto uh, or even this madara they're all different versions of seven stars honestly like the naruto is a different seven star entirely um and madara is a blazing bash one whereas kakashi is just a regular seven star so yeah it, it just depends honestly but all right so that's 10 ramen and he is not there yet let's go ahead and use another 10 and we'll go ahead and see i'm pretty sure he just takes normal ramen i'm i'm, I'm hoping people aren't using five kage league ramen like even if that was the case like you don't need to do that hold on let me see that i want to actually see yeah you can't use five kage league ramen okay so uh, with that said, all right, that was 10. Let's go and see maybe six. Maybe that would be enough. Six is close. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and give him seven then. Is that enough? No, okay, so we're just gonna go up every bit of time. I'm kind of interested though. I want to see how much it takes. So it's about nine. So what is that? 29 ramen? 29 ramen. That is quite a bit, man. Um, I'm surprised they made it that much. Honestly, they should have kept it with how much it is to max limit break a unit. Because when it comes to max limit breaking a unit, you use the initial 4 to get him to the 100. And then it's only like, it's not, it's not that much more to get him to 150. It's like about, what, 17 more or something like that? So, alright, there we go. My man is at 150. It took 29 ramen to get him there. So, hopefully you have enough. You should have enough. If not, you can always get it from the shop. So, uh, yeah, there we go. His strength is crazy good honestly if i'm being real with you his speed alone too is pretty good like i could give him 30 speed pills and he'd be at 378 no no joke um but then i could also give him another 30 if i wanted to but i don't think i'm going to like I, I don't know if i'll be using this man that much i really don't but he is still pretty cool nonetheless i mean i'm not gonna use him in kage league i mean i don't know man like he's not bad but i don't have dupes for him like if you have dupes for him then sure um but i don't so there's that especially because you gotta take into account like there's a banner out right now for this man and he's not the only featured unit on it so i mean you could also get uh what is it you get kakashi i don't think that's is that the new kakashi i'm not sure about that uh maybe don't summon on the banner though <laughs> maybe don't i don't know ashra is not really worth it in my opinion sasori he's not really worth it in my opinion naruto i'm pretty sure that's the four tails not really worth it in my opinion 
but this modder, I mean, if you want to, you can. Um, but with that said, all right, so that's my Blazing Awakened modder. We're gonna go ahead and jump into some PvP. I do want to see how he fares against these units because, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Obviously, I think he's really good for me to have, though, because I don't have Toby max levels, so I don't have that many units that can go ahead and just nullify everything like this, man, like Nagato. Um, who else? The last, uh, what's it called? Hinata could also do that as well. But I actually do kind of like, too, that Madara's range is pretty big, so that, that could really come in handy. I wonder how much he's going to do to this Naruto, though, actually. This dude doesn't have dupes, so I'm going to try to mobilize first. Yes, sir, there we go. Okay, that was not part of the plan there, Chief, but alrighty. Uh, what I'm going to do, send these two back. I don't think I'll be able to get Madara's latent skill. Uh, I know his latent skill pushes back, and it is AoE. I still haven't seen how much it does, obviously, because I just got him, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. I kind of wish they had training time out right now. All right, so let's go ahead and do this, though. I want to go ahead and see how much this is going to do. Honestly, because he's a 4-8, I don't think you're going to be getting the latent skill that much. But this dude is not bad. Like, that's the thing. He was never bad. It was just that he can get immobilized nowadays. Like, I see a lot of people run this dude nowadays still. Um, well, not in the Kage League, per se. But, I mean, now that his latent skill is in the game, though, it's not necessarily bad. But you can see, like, the damage output this man is doing, um, it's, it's not bad because of how strong his strength is now. Another thing is, too, like, even if the modder can get immobilized, obviously he can just, like, you know, nullify the damage. But you still don't want to get immobilized. So, I mean, I, I just think that that's good. I'm glad they added that. Uh, that's what that man needs, honestly. Okay, so this dude wants to be mean like that so what i could do honestly though um i could just do damage the problem is i mean they're they're <laughs> they're hard size what, what am i honestly gonna do but that's okay that's okay because then i can come on in with kaguya and then i could honestly probably get sasuke's ult this way maybe not you just have to hit three with moderate to go ahead and get the ultra combo though but that's okay go ahead and do that Go ahead and do this. Honestly, just the fact that he can't be touched and he's got 56,000 health alongside the damage reduction if you have that ability. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Actually, can I, can I possibly hit both of these? No, I cannot. Okay, well then I'm just gonna do this. I was gonna send out the frogs. I was gonna send out the frogs, but one of these dudes is still there. So I'd rather do this. Cause Hitachi, he can do damage, but the only one he has the type. Bro, come on now. You're gonna tell me that I'm not gonna land anything at all. <laughs> I mean, I know with Naruto, he's got immobilization resistance and stuff of that nature, but you're gonna tell me I can't land Jutsu ceiling on any of them? I mean, in Final Valley Naruto's case, again, it makes sense. This dude's getting chakra resets over here like crazy, though. This man's about to have Itachi's ult. All right, so there we go. That is the Blazing Bash 7-star modder. A lot of people are saying that he's trash, skip, all that type of stuff, but I think that's just stupid. Like, who cares? This is a 7-star unit, bro. If you don't want to summon, then don't summon. But on top of that, I mean, he's not bad. It's just the meta nowadays is so specific. I mean, if you have a problem with the meta, you just... then <laughs> Don't play PvP, dude, because Blazing PvP is already stupid as it is. I think this modder, he's still fun to mess around with. I mean, if I was able to at least use him a little bit with one dupe and the way I play, then you can definitely get around with it so i think the unit's really cool i'm glad they made him a seven star honestly uh i i like that they're making old unit seven stars a lot of people don't want that but i'm a long time player and it benefits me so i appreciate that but with that said yeah i'm glad i got him awakened will i use him probably not since i don't have dupes maybe if we get a skill speed boost then yes because then that man would be actually pretty fast but as it is right now uh for me i just i don't really need to but yeah he's not he's not bad honestly uh the fact that he's four eight though will you you get the latent skill probably not but you could <laughs> so there we go that's gonna take care of it let me know if you awakened them um if you have not like i said in my last week's video there are ways to get the materials just alone uh doing the limited ninja trials can get you the tag and the scrolls that you need to awaken them you can also get them from the shop it's really not that hard to go ahead and get them and i'm sure they'll be adding a panel mission soon with some more but it's not hard to just get the scrolls you need to awaken them and stuff of that nature so that'll take care of that but yeah that's gonna do it i hope y'all enjoyed this thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in the next video